five insane serial arsonists. We salute firefighters for their unwavering valor in saving lives during a blaze. We applaud fire eaters and fire dancers for their daring and entertaining acts. But definitely, no one empathizes with a fire razor, just like these five serial arsonists whose insanely criminal fire-starting sprees claimed many lives and ignited the fury of thousands of people. Number 5. Raymond Lee Euler who can forget the fire in Esperanza Cabazon, California that became a raging inferno lasting from October 26th to October 29th, 2006? The wind-driven, arson-caused wildfire took the lives of five brave firefighters, burned over 41,173 acres, destroyed 34 houses and 20 buildings with a total estimated $9 million worth of damage. A $500,000 reward was offered for information leading to the arsonist, and it didn't take long for Raymond Lee Euler's arrest on October 31st. He was initially arrested for setting two wildfires in the summer of 2006, but minor blazes weren't enough, so he became obsessed with lighting a mountain on fire, which his girlfriend corroborated. Among the things investigators found in Euler's car were a partially burned slingshot that was used to launch incendiary devices into the brush. His DNA was also found on two cigarette butts used in other nearby wildfires. By November 2nd, Euler was charged for the Esperanza fire. Overall, he faced charges of almost 24 counts of arson, and on June 5th, 2009, Euler was sentenced to death for starting the 2006 Esperanza fire. Number 4. Peter Dinsdale, aka Bruce George Peter Lee when Peter Dinsdale was only 12 years old, he went to his classmate Richard Ellerington's house, poured paraffin on a window, and set the house on fire, killing Richard himself. It was one of the many fatal fires that Dinsdale set from 1973 to 1979, making him one of Britain's most prolific arsonists. It was the burning down of Edith Hastie's house on Selby Street on December 4th, 1979, that killed her three sons, which got Dinsdale caught through his own confession. Dinsdale, who by that time took his stepdad's surname, Lee, volunteered to undergo routine questionings by the police about the arson. But six months after the inquiry, he confessed in detail how he doused with paraffin and lit the hasty house on fire. His motive? Revenge against Edith's son, Charlie, who blackmailed him for their sexual encounter and for his rejection by Edith's daughter. The arsonist also took responsibility for nine more fires, which killed 26 people. Dinsdale was convicted of 26 counts of manslaughter, 11 of which were overturned on appeal, and was imprisoned for life in 1981. Number 3. Thomas Sweat Thomas Sweat is a convicted serial arsonist who has confessed to setting over 300 fires in and around Washington, D.C. for 30 years. What's weird, though, is how this former fast food restaurant manager committed his crimes. Sweat would follow home a man he's attracted to, but instead of striking up a conversation, he would set the man's house or car on fire. He would often use combustible devices, a milk jug filled with gasoline with his clothing plugged in at the end to serve as a wick. In setting ablaze, the car's a policeman. Sweat was arrested in April 2005 when the DNA evidence from a pair of marine dress pants found in a December 2004 Virginia fire matched his DNA sample, which he voluntarily gave. It also matched the DNA found at three other fires, which intensified the case against the elusive serial arsonist. Sweat pleaded guilty to setting 45 fires in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia from 2003 to 2005, and was sentenced in federal court to serve the rest of his life at the Federal Correction Institute in Terre Haute, Indiana. Number 2. Paul Kenneth Keller Who on earth can set 76 fires that killed three elderly women and damaged more than $30 million worth of property within six months? Only a serial arsonist like Paul Kenneth Keller, who admitted to doing these unfathomable crimes. According to his father, Keller was a hyperactive kid fascinated with fire, and even torched a next-door vacant house at age 8. It was a foreshadowing of what Keller would become as an adult. Decades later, Keller suffered from a divorce, bankruptcy, drug, and alcohol abuse. This was a rough period for Keller, who between August 1992 and February 2003 went on a crazy spree burning down churches, houses, construction sites, and more. But it was the September 1992 arson case against the Four Freedoms Retirement Home in Seattle that had casualties. He didn't use fuels or flammables, but just lit any burnable material that caused a blaze. When Keller's father recognized the investigator's profile of the suspected arsonist, he gave the authorities details about his son. Eventually, Keller was arrested in March 1993, and in 1994, he was sentenced to 99 years in prison. 
Number 1. John Pillow Pyro Orr The case of John Pillow Pyro Orr can be considered as one of the unexpected shocking twists of fate. From being a responsible fire captain and arson investigator with a stellar reputation, Orr turned into a convicted serial arsonist serving a life sentence. He was reportedly involved in thousands of arson cases in different parts of California, notably in the 1984 Pasadena fire that gutted an Olds Home Center hardware and killed four persons. Arson investigators ruled that it was caused by an electrical fire, but Orr insisted it was an arson case. In 1987 and 1989, a series of fires broke out in different parts of California during the conventions for arson investigators. Similarly, successive fires in the Los Angeles metropolitan area also happened in late 1990 and early 1991. A single fingerprint on a piece of notebook paper that was used as part of a time-delay combustible device was recovered in 1987, which finally found its match through improved fingerprint technology, John Orr's. He was arrested on December 4, 1991, and is currently serving his life sentence at California State Prison. If you find this video infotaining, please subscribe to our channel and make us part of your daily habit.